Hi friends, so uh, my name is Brian and I'm going to be installing a, <clears throat> a Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch on my 2007 Ford Escape Hybrid. Um, there aren't a lot of videos that talk about towing with a hybrid. Um, and depending on who you ask, you're going to get different numbers on what the capacity is. So the owner's manual that came with the vehicle says 1,000 pounds, but when you search online, Ford says 1,500 pounds, and there are anecdotes that people have towed with more. The weight limitation seems to be around the reverse capacity of the electric motor. Um, you know, I'm putting this hitch on here because I want a two-inch receiver, and it was about $110 to order this through Amazon. And um, the primary thing is I tow this vehicle with my uh, motor coach, aka motorhome, on a dolly. And if for some reason I need to um, send the motorhome to the shop or you know park it somewhere, I, I want the ability to tow the dolly behind there. And all of my equipment is two inch receiver. So, um, so I'm putting a two inch receiver on here. I have a utility trailer. It may be a little bit too heavy for this vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see, um, in which case I may get a, another small utility trailer. I, I just need something that I can occasionally um, uh, tow with you know if i need to go get like you know a bunch of plywood or something you know i, I just need a really basic utility trailer now i do have a, a heavy duty ladder rack on this vehicle so that would be my first choice for you know five or six two by fours or some plywood um and anything you know if i needed you know a pallet of shingles i'm gonna have that crap delivered it's just not worth my time so anyway let me get started i'm gonna be using my GoPro Hero, whatever the fuck it is this year, and um, I've got the little remote. These these work pretty good. Um, it's going to help me show you guys uh, up inside the, you know, what I'm working on. Um, and uh, at this point, what I want to do is just kind of get under here and look around and see what I see uh, and figure out how this is going to work. Um, and uh, I, if you like my videos, please do me a favor, click click the like and subscribe so you'll find out when I have new videos. Um, and uh, I'm gonna apologize in advance if you hear my breathing. There's a couple things going on. Uh, one is I probably got a little bit of anemia going on uh, from an ulcer, so it makes me a little short of breath sometimes. And then the other thing is this is a really sensitive microphone, so when I'm not speaking, uh, this microphone will tune in to my breathing. So if I've done anything to exert myself whatsoever, it shows up on camera as, <sighs> Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I don't have a professional uh, videographer and I don't have a professional sound guy. Um, if I did, maybe that'd be better. But, you know, this is YouTube, it's low budget video. So, anyway, let's do it to it. And, uh, by the way, Merry Christmas. So, first things first, um, it does come with a reasonably good one-page instruction. It says that it needs a three-quarter inch ratchet. Um, that means it also needs a box wrench. It comes with some fishing wire. Um, it calls for a torque wrench, which I just cannot seem to find right now. So, um, you know, but I'm reasonably impressed with this. And uh, it says that it should take 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your skill level. And the hitch weighs 38 pounds. And again, this is a reasonably good um, kit. So the hitch itself um, arrived in one piece. The you know, Amazon uses a box at least two to three times the size of anything they ship. This was no exception. So let me get under here and uh, figure this out. Alright. Yeah, in an ideal world, I wouldn't scratch it, but I just don't care, in the words of the famous Melania. So, you can see here that you've got this, this flange that sticks out and then this flange here. And I see what is going to be really the only problem for the hybrid. So, the hybrid has 
a air conditioning system that services the battery and you can see the line runs all the way to the front of the vehicle well this hitch needs this space right here so in order to get into that this is going to have to be lowered and we're going to see if that creates the clearance i don't see it uh, this is the only area that i really see being a problem um, is trying to get the hitch into this space um, so I'm going to clamp this, yeah that'll work, and then I just want to, oh, well on second thought it looks like they've thought this through, so you can kind of see here, and I'm going to tweak the camera, you can see that this actually looks like it's going to fit without any problems. That's really cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some jack so I can position this up here. Um, this would be a lot easier if I had three hands or four helpers, but I don't. So I'm gonna go get some jacks and get this thing positioned up where I think it needs to be. That's pretty good news. So, what I'm gonna do is put the hitch up on these jacks and use them to hold it in place. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of a pain in the butt. But anyway, here we go. So, oh, it looks like. Oh, yeah, I see what's going on here. So I've got a muffler that hangs down here, or resonator is what it's technically called. So I'm just going to have to... So one of the things I like to do is I like to lay out my sets of hardware so that I know that everything is where it needs to be. So I've got a washer, a backer, 
or a, a nut, a washer, a bolt, a backer. Three sets there, three sets there. So I wanted to show you guys how what we're trying to do is get access to get this bolt in. So I'm gonna scoot around because I can't really see what I'm doing in this angle. So uh, it's been a couple of days since I started to install this hitch. Um, I managed to get my die grinder and then the weather didn't cooperate for a few days. It's a little bit cold, so I've got a little space heater running to keep me nice and toasty and uh, we're gonna do it to it. Um, if you're interested in the Harbor Freight die grinders, check out my video review and unboxing. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see my new videos when they come out. And uh, if you have questions, post them in the comments. Um, we'll get to them eventually. Sometimes it's the same day, sometimes a few days, sometimes a few weeks. Um, I do moderate them to keep everybody on their best behavior. So what we got going on here is I need to bring a bolt through this hole. It's going to come down like this and it's got to go in through this hole. As you can see, this hole is just a little bit small. And wait, there's more. This has got to go through this hole too. And that ain't going to fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in here with a die grinder and we're going to enlarge this hole. So it will fit. So I wore out the uh, rasp that I was using, so I've switched to a grinding stone. I'm just going to see how this works. So you can see I've got a rat, uh, grinding stone on here now. So what happened is the other bit loaded up with uh, metal and quit working. So it's back to the rasp we go. And if I have to go through all of them to get this done, I don't care. Okay, so I finally got, uh, I went through half of the die grinder bits or the rasps. And um, I got two holes enlarged. I wasn't able to get, I, it just, it takes forever. So I'm just gonna work with two. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two floor jacks to lift the uh, hitch up and hold it where I want it while I try to fish the bolts through. That'll be another exercise in irritation. Um, this is really frustrating because um, I can't get the flashlight to stay where I need it to put good light where I'm working. And um, I'm working upside down on an uneven driveway. It's cold out. I just soon claw your eyes out right now. So anyway, let me get on my back and cuss at this some more and see what I can do. So I'm gonna film this from the side 
so you guys can kind of see what I'm actually doing here. So I've got my GoPro over here. So, <clears throat> that goes there. My memory is that the side of the muffler has to go in first. <clears throat> this would be a heck of a lot easier with two people. Hopefully this is going to go smoothly. This is the should be one of the easiest ones. Of course not. through. All right. And one of the ways you can do this is just to kind of unwind it like that because I'm done with these. What's nice about this one is I can actually get my finger behind it. So I'm going to put some Loctite in the nut. Alright. And this one, again, this is easy because I've got my finger behind it and it can't move. The others I have to be careful of. All right, so at this point I'm bolted in. What I'm gonna do now is remove the jacks so that I can see how this kind of sits in here and then I'm gonna tighten it up. So I'm basically going to tighten it up where it's at. I think it's good. Now it calls for 110 foot-pounds and I can't find my torque wrench. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my impact wrench. I'm just going to cinch the damn things down because it needs to be one with the frame. That's the nicest way to put it. Uh, turn the air back on. Oh no, I'm not. I can't get up in there with this. Oh, well, I can get this one. No! Well, at least it was that one. Because that was off. And that is not the direction we wanted any of these to go. crank this one down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
with one. I think I can get that one in there. I'll do the other side. to do and it's up in here where it's hard to get to. So, ain't no way you were going to get that done in 30 minutes. Maybe if you had done this 15 times and had this on a rack, yeah. An hour? Yeah, no. Three hours? Yeah. The average mechanic probably is three to five hours to install this. That's just a crazy amount of work. Now, maybe if I had better grinding bits, and I had a helper. Could I get this done in an hour? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you've got a hybrid, don't hesitate to put a hitch on it. Um, again, I'm I'm putting a two-inch hitch for convenience, but I really only plan to tow 1,500 pounds, and I might sneak 2,000 behind it. Uh, according to popular rumor on the internet, it's the reverse gear that has the limitation. So. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to be careful with it. Um, you know, the majority of what I need to be able to do is tow my tow dolly when I'm out uh, with my motor home. And uh, there's been times where I've needed to drop the motor home off for work and I need to tow the tow dolly somewhere. So this gives me the ability to haul a tow dolly behind me. Still got to hook up the wiring. Another video. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Like my video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.